Okay, hello everybody, today we're here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in the Cessna 152. We have a 59 nautical mile flight from Alpha Juliet Oscar Corona to Victor November Yankee Van Eyes. Corona is the newly released freeware airport by the amazing scenery designer V. Basilio, and anytime he releases something new, I have to fly out of it. To make the flight even more interesting, we'll be flying a VFR through the LAX Bravo using the mini route. Should be an awesome flight, so let's hop into the pilot seat and get started. All right, we are here in the JP Logistics C-152, so our parking brake is set, all of our switches are off, throttle idle, mixture to cut off. We'll head down here to our trim and set that to take off. There we go, looking for the little notch there, that looks good. Down here to the fuel selector, and I left it on the last time, my bad, so we'll put that back to on. Head down here and get the battery and master on. Fuel tank left right a little bit above half a tank, which is adequate for a 59 nautical mile flight. We've got the beacon on. We'll head over here and open up the window. Clear prop. Check that the prop is clear. Feet around the brakes. Get the mixture in. Bring the throttle to an eighth of an inch. Carb heat should be in. There we go. Carb heat's back in. Prime it one, two, three, four strokes of the primer. Keys are in the ignition, magnetos to both, and start. We've got oil pressure in the green, RPMs are just a little bit above a thousand, so we'll bring that back down. Looks like a good start. Next we could head down here and lean the mixture for ground operations. There we go, that looks good. And. This defaulted to the last state as we're running in, so I had all the avionics and everything turned on, so we'll get the transponder back to standby. Uh, we'll head down here and get our taxi light on. And we'll switch over to my real-world headset for our comms for the rest of the flight. Check, check, how do you hear? All right, these are my David Quarks. These are the original aviation headset I started my flight lessons with. So we'll be talking through these through an adapter for the rest of the flight. Alpha transmission, Foxtrot, time 2153 Zulu, wind 280 at 14, gusting 30, visibility 10 miles, sky conditions view 3600, temperature 142.3, altimeter 2996, localizer and visual approaching you through 0125, something of arrivals and departures in progress between Hawthorne and Los Angeles. Instrument departure terminal fitting 205 and so the west directed. Hazardous information for so level on flight service frequencies. Advise you have information, Fox truck. All right, real world winds are gusting 30 knots. In real life, the most I've flown in is gusting 18 knots, and it was not a good time. So I would not take off with 30 knot gusts in a Cessna 152. So today we're going to fly uh, with a preset to give us more reasonable winds, uh, but some clouds to keep an eye on, uh, just to keep it interesting. So as we get everything dialed in here, I'll open up for flight and take you through the flight brief. Today we are flying VFR, departing from Corona, which is an untowered field with a 530 foot field elevation, 3200 foot runway. It's nestled under the Class Charlie of Ontario. If we scroll to the right here, we can see the Class Charlie shelf starts at 2,700, so we need to remain below that shelf on departure. We're going to fly west and then north to our destination of Van Nuys. Van Nuys is a Class Delta, and it is underneath the Class Charlie of Burbank. It's a little hard to read everything on the map due to these polygons that are overlaying everything. Those are airmits and sigmits due to the real-world weather. You can see there's icing in the real world starting at 3,000 and higher turbulence. You've got a convective sigmit, you've got obscuration. So I'm going to turn off those air mitts to make it a little bit easier to see. Remember we're not going to be flying with real weather today, but with the preset. You can see now that we've got the LA Bravo between us and our destination. We could go north along the mountains, uh, try to find a way through the Burbank class Charlie airspace to get to Van Nuys, or we could fly due west and use the mini route. So in the margins here are a couple VFR transitions for the Bravo. The mini route requires talking to ATC the entire way, overflies LAX at 2,500 feet, and gives you a handoff from Hawthorne Tower to LAX to Santa Monica Tower. So that's what we're going to plan on, uh, which means we're going to fly west at 4,500 initially, descend to 2,500 for the mini route, and then stay at 2,500 until we get to our destination. 
we'll be using VFR reporting points, which are very visual, such as State College here, uh, or the water plant, uh, Fullerton Airport. All of those are going to keep us on track. We've got some nice highways that we can follow. Uh, there's the 91605 interchange to the south here. Uh, we've got Long Beach, which is a class delta that will be easy to spot. Eventually, we're going to arrive at Harbor 405 interchange, which is another VFR reporting point. That's where we will start our descent from 4,500. At that point, we'll be clear of all the class delta airspaces. And we're going to head towards Hawthorne and 405, which is where we're going to contact Hawthorne Tower and ask for the mini route transition. They'll give us a squawk code. Uh, we will then proceed north, contact LA Tower. Uh, they'll give us clearance into the Bravo and we'll overfly LAX at 2500. They'll hand us off to Santa Monica. Santa Monica will hand us off when we're outside of their airspace. Then we'll contact Van Nuys and get an arrival at Van Nuys. All right, we'll look around and make sure that we're clear. Let's see if we can spot the windsock from here. There it is, and it's pointing to runway 25. Perfect. Let's make our CTAF call. Corona traffic, says in a 565 Whiskey, taxi from the ramp to runway 25, hold short Corona. I'll test my brakes. Brakes are good. Then we'll hang a right. Testing your brakes when you first start rolling uh, in a flight simulator is a good hint that the person probably has taken flight lessons because you want to make sure your brakes work <laughs> before you start going too quickly. All right, we're here at the hold short lines. We'll put on our parking brake, get our mixture in for the run-up. We'll start by doing our flight controls, elevator up, elevator down, rudder left, rudder right, move on to the ailerons. Next, we'll do our mag check. So we're going to bring our RPMs to 1700 and do mag left and mag right. We're going to listen for and watch for the drop. We've got a good drop. Next, we'll pull out the car beat. Got to drop the car beat, put that back in. Then we're going to go throttle idle, make sure the engine doesn't quit, and then throttle idle with carb heat on to make sure the engine doesn't quit. Looks good. Corona traffic says in a 565 Whiskey, departing runway 25. We're doing a straight out departure to the west, climbing to 4,500 feet. Corona. We'll go right at Delta Taxi to Beach Bay, November. Right at Delta Beach Bay, November. All right. In the background, we've got LiveETC.net streaming Hawthorne Tower. It's not the nearest tower, but it is the tower that we'll be talking to to request our mini route transition through the Bravo. All right, wind is fairly straight down the runway according to the windsock, which is good, only three knots. We are all lined up, so let's bring in the power. RPMs look good, our gauges look good, airspeed's alive. Coming up on 50, 55, and rotate. A little squirrely there. Let's get ourselves back over to the runway. And, oh, that was the trim wheel. I have a trim wheel on my joystick. And at the beginning of the video, I used the mouse to set the trim to the takeoff position. And then the first time you touch the trim wheel on the joystick, it jumps to wherever that position is on the joystick. So I have to remember to uh, get that all sorted out before I take off. Otherwise, you'll have what just happened there with a massive nose up <laughs> as the trim wheel indexes to a new position. We're still alive, though. All right, we're on track. Let's sit back and enjoy that awesome flight simulator scenery.
I would love to try this flight with live ATC, like real human ATC, and I think the only service that you could really pull this off is Pilot Edge, because you need all the handoffs from Hawthorne Tower to LAX to Santa Monica, but it would be really cool to try. It definitely was scenic and a bit taxing on my GPU with all the dense photogrammetry, but very cool to fly at 2500 over LAX and Santa Monica. So be sure to give this flight a try. So I hope you like realistic general aviation content like this. If you do, be sure to click that like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, as always, for flying along with me, and stay tuned for further flight adventures.